Okay, today I'm going to be doing the Dana Pittman Yarn Crafter Tag. And I will leave her link down below if you want to go watch her video first. And I'm going to read off my computer for co the um, questions. Sorry, brain fart. And here we go. Introduce yourself. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about me before I go into the questions. I am a stay-at-home wife. I take care of my brother who has mental retardation. My first child is due in October. She will be a girl. If you've not watched, watched my blogs. Blogs, not blogs. I think. Okay, question number one. What type of crafter are you? I am a multi-crafter. I do not do just one craft because I have a short attention span. And I get bored very easily. I crochet, I knit, I loom knit too. I also make jewelry. I make bow, bow, bows, can you think, get it out right, and flower clips. Basically hair accessories. I like to draw. I took a lot of art classes in high school, took art one, two, and three. I've got them, I had a mare in it by the time I graduated. And I love being creative and making things from my imagination. I love using my hands. Which goes back to, let's see, Dad always talked about his generation always working with their hands. Um, one of my family members was a blacksmith. That was way before I was born. Um, one was a carpenter. One was a wooden worker. He could take a knife and whittle any toy that you wanted. I never did get to meet him. He died before I was born. Okay. So that that's why I guess creativeness runs in the family. And then, <clears throat> sorry I'm going to lose my voice through this. So bear with me. What is your favorite type of project? With knitting and crochet projects, I like to do hats and scarves because they are work up faster and easy. You can do different stitches, different type of hats, different type of um, styles, patterns, and stitches and stuff. With uh, let me see, jewelry and hair bow making. You can buy kits that you can get from Walmart, and then on Etsy has um, ribbon kits that you can get and stuff. And drawing, I get drawing books. There are tutorials on YouTube to learn how to draw different things like um, 3D shapes, 3D shapes, eyes, anything you can think of, cartoon characters, stuff like that. <clears throat> How did you learn to knit or crochet? If you've not watched my previous videos, then here we go. I learned to knit and crochet when I was in college from my husband while my mother was um, sick. Uh, let's see. I tried to learn it through the book, but I couldn't process it. And at the time, my husband was my boyfriend, so this scored extra points. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay. <clears throat> So, I'm a visual learner. I cannot read something and then process it. I have to see it. So, he read it, showed me, and I caught on to it. Uh, let's see. Jury making, I learned in high school. It was very easy, not very complicated. We had a extracurriculum class where during that class we had to earn school hours see I was based on special ed at the time we had to have so many community school and paid hours for this um, 
to get your diploma, which was a load of crap because half these people <laughs> go through floating through high school and don't have to do a thing. So that it just ticked me off. But I got my hours in and stuff like that. But I learned how to make jewelry then. Bow making. Uh, tutorials. Uh, flower clips. Basically thought it up. Looked it up. Done it. And I did it. Drawing. High school. Basically I had a passion for drawing. And it kept growing and growing. And did good. Okay. And then number four. How often do you need a crochet? Well, during the summertime, usually, before I got pregnant, I would need a crochet a little bit. I'd take it everywhere I went. But I didn't do it as much as I did in the fall and winter times. During summer times and spring, I would do jewelry, um, hair bow, accessory making stuff. And I would do my drawings. So I would say 20, between 10 to 20 percent during the summer, 30 percent during the fall and winter. Okay. Number five. What do you love most about crochet or knitting? What I love about crochet and knitting is the relaxation of the craft, the joy of creating something with your own hands. Okay, and then my other crafts, I enjoy the creativity. We thought of taking two di different things and making a new creation. That goes with bow making and jewelry making. The, and the drawing. All that is lemon limited it's I can't even think called right limited not limited but not you know what I mean okay number six what do you like what do you least like about crochet and knitting and I'm gonna apply this to my other crafting too knitting drop stitches that is the most pain in the butt I have ever done it took me forever to realize just to go back instead of ripping it out. Because once you rip it out, you end up, or well, I end up, knitting in the wrong direction. And I've got the wrong stitches looking funky. And I don't like it. Crochet, I don't like how my wrists get tired very easily. Okay. Jury making. If you don't clamp it just right, your work comes apart. Bow and hair clip making. Hot glue. I get burned every time. And I say, Ugh, I hate that. Drawing. Messing up, having to erase each time and it leaving marks on the paper. Okay. Number seven, how do, how do you, how does my loved ones feel about my crafting? They love it. Every year at Christmas, they know they're going to get a homemade gift. Whether it be from a hair bow, to a knitted crochet item, or jewelry. So now, they just ask. They see something on there, they say, ooh, I like this. But every year we actually draw names and stuff like that. But drawing, I used to um, draw and give them as gifts. I might start doing that again. But they, they love it. They encourage me to keep doing it. Okay, number eight. How do I share my best tips <clears throat> for crafters? For knitting and crochet, I have put up, <clears throat> like in my yarn addiction group, and on my Facebook page, I have put up um, files for tips on where to find the best books, where to find the best tutorials, where to buy the cheapest yarn supplies, 
and stuff like that. Um, not done that for knitting. I've not done that for jewelry or ribbon. I mean, tutorials and stuff. I need to do that. That way they feel a little bit better about crafting. Okay. And drawing. Sorry. I uh, left that out too, didn't I? Okay. Number nine. What technique that you would like to learn concerning your craft that really makes different types of Okay, I just blurred all that together. I'm sorry. What technique would you like to, would you like to learn concerning your crafts? Mine would be the different types of stitches with knitting and crochet. Uh, crochet, the hairpin lace, the shell stitch. With knitting, the raspberry stitch and lace stitches. I think that would be so cool to learn. Uh, with cro uh, with crochet. <laughs> Sorry. With jewelry making, it would be the egg necklace. And with bow, it would be the bottle cap um, hair bows. And I also would like to learn how to do bottle cap jewelry. I've actually looked up um, tutorials on that. And I've just got to buy the supplies to do it. Right now, my craft space is <laughs> jumped together. <clears throat> Number 10. When I'm not crafting, I love to listen to music, watch movies, buy crafting supplies. <laughs> yeah, I'm addicted. And doing researches on new ways to learn to create for each craft. Okay. Down below for number 11, um, there will be links. To people's channels also tutorials you click their name underneath it'll take you to their channel for um, knitting and crochet I have uh, let's see I've got the knit girls Bob Wilson one two three and her name is Robin cannot say her username Q H L Lover. Sorry if you can hear peaches and cream. I live on Main Street and they are driving down the road right now. Okay, and then bow tutorials. Mommy crafts a lot. She is the only one that I found on YouTube that makes the coolest bows and shows you step by step how to make it. Plus she tells you where she buys her supplies. I love her. Uh, let's see. Jewelry making. I have three tutorials. Three tutorial channels that I have. And drawing. I have theirs down below. If you want to go check them out. If you want to learn how to draw. Okay, number 12. <clears throat> I mostly craft when I'm stressed out. Waiting. Want waiting. <laughs> Sorry. Wanting to be creative. Dealing during holidays is very rush time and if I wasn't pregnant right now and had um, room to craft I would be getting ready for Christmas stuff big time but right now where I'm extra tired and just want to get her stuff done not worried about everybody else I'm not creating half as much and also create for special occasions like birthdays, um, anniversaries, stuff like that. But that is her tag. I will leave the questions also down below if you want to do her tag video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.